Okay, we're up to skill uh, number four, uh, adding vectors that are in rectangular form. Now, rectangular form is the easy way to add vectors, so we're going to start right here. A vector is nothing more than a magnitude, but in a particular direction. So, we might be able to attach a strength to this. If we wanted to do some Pythagoras, we could work it out and make it to scale. But we could just say that suppose this has a strength of 10, but it's aiming in that particular direction. B would have a strength that's somewhat longer than 10, and it's aiming in this direction. D is like this, and C is like that. So you can have vectors that are really aiming in any particular direction you want with any particular strength. Vectors are very useful in physics when you're dealing with uh, motion of a particular object and you want to describe its motion. It's also useful in things like navigation where you're aiming your airplane in a certain direction, but a wind is blowing you in a different direction, and you can see that we can express the wind and the speed of an airplane easily with vectors. So in this case, We've got um, these vectors that I've used letters to identify them. Um, we we'll often put a little arrow over the head to suggest that it's a vector. In this case, if I said vector B plus vector D, it's not that this vector is at this particular location. It's just that we express a number with, you know, using a 3 or a 5 or a 7. It's not like it has to be that place on the board. So that is often a misconception. So I can take B and I can express it like this, okay? There's B, I've copied it, picked it up, put it here. To add D to it, all I need to do is pick up that vector and put the tail on the head and draw it as accurately as I can. And there it is. So this is uh, B and this is D. And then the resultant is where we go from the start of one to the end of the other. So that's my resultant vector, it's called, which is the sum of those two. All right. So that's one of the really cool things about vectors is you can take two of them, combine them to make one, or you can take one vector and you can break it down into its two parts that are perhaps horizontal and vertical, and we'll be doing that in another skill. All right, so uh, we could take any two vectors and we could write an equation like um, a plus 2c. And the way we write the vector, though, mathematically, is we consider where we start and then using our Cartesian orientation, how do we get to the, to the end of it? How do we go from the tail to the head? So I'm going back 2, and that's minus 2, and then I'm going down 1, so it's minus 1. So if I say convert that vector into rectangular form, you'd write minus 2, minus 1. This one would be positive 1 for my x direction, and then always the second number is your y value, negative 1. Okay, what's this one right here? Okay, pause the camera, check it out, pretty straightforward, probably don't even need to pause it. If I talk long enough, you'll get there. This is over 3 and up 2, so you write it as 3, 2. Don't use a fraction like with a slope, that's a common misconception. This one then, it's okay if we do not go up and down, we're only going left and right, so this one is 2, 0, okay? So if I did this, all I need to do is think of the algebra of the numbers, plus 2 times, and then I can write C, which is 2, comma 0, I distribute the 2 in, so that's negative 2, negative 1, plus 4, comma, 0, and that's equal to 2, negative 1, 2, negative 1. And if I were to pick the arrowheads up and put them down, tail to head, like I'm supposed to, you'll see that that's the same thing, okay? So that's adding vectors in rectangular form.